1972, I arrived on this campus, just a country boy from Pike County, Illinois. And Peter, I had a similar experience. My mom and dad were grade school teachers, and, and they dropped me off at Marcus Hall. To give you some context, uh, compared to Pike County, Illinois, Fulton was a big city. <laughs> and Marcus Hall seemed like a palace. But most significantly that first month, I had the inestimable good fortune to be taken under the wing of a man who literally would change my life forever, Dr. Bill Parrish. <clears throat> From that summer day in 1972, the relationship between country boy and professor grew and blossomed and strengthened. And it is now in its fifth decade. Westminster College, serving in the White House, law degree, legal career, my relationship with President Ford, teaching constitutional law, husband, dad, grandfather. Each one of those milestones in my life has a single common element. And you can draw a straight line from every one of them, a very straight line, right back to a single place, to a single person. And he's sitting right there in that pew this morning, Bill Parrish. So to be, all, <clears throat> to be honored by my alma mater in the presence of Bill and Helen Sue Parrish means more, ladies and gentlemen, than any words of gratitude I could possibly uh, muster this morning. As I reflected on this award, I was reminded of the many uh, remarkable roles that, through which Bill Parrish has graced my life and the lives of Annie and our sons. Teacher, mentor, role model, confidant, sounding board, and inspiration. But no matter his many roles, there's one that means more to me than all the others combined. And it's the one that's perhaps the most difficult for me to describe, much less to describe adequately. His special role is best captured by the poet Yeats. And Yeats wrote, think where one's glory most begins and ends, and say, my glory was that I had such a friend. Bill, as we gather here in Christopher Wren's Church of St. Mary of Aldermanbury, please know how much we all admire you how much you mean to me and to all of us, and how much I and others like me savor every moment of our friendship with you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of generations of Westminster students and their children, and grandchildren, please permit me a 
personal moment. Thank you, Bill Parrish. From the bottom of my heart, for all you mean to me and to Westminster College, would you please stand, sir? President Forsyth and members of the Alumni Council, thank you for the honor you've bestowed upon me today. May God bless and watch over this wonderful college and all those who will walk her halls. Thank you all very much. <laughs>